Hey, stranger. I know it's been a it's been a while since I've been here to Norms, and I'm just so glad that I got to get to LA. And I said we got to go to Norms, man. I'm just so happy to see you guys. I really I'm happy for Mark. I'm happy for everyone. You know, well, which it's a good great. thing, man. Yeah, you know. Really so uh, this is my buddy Tommy Hendrickson, and Tommy, of course, plays with Alice Cooper and the Hollywood Vampires and a whole bunch of other people, and always doing something. And he's got a Swiss accent because he lives in Switzerland. Yes, I do. Uh, I've been living in Zurich for almost like 10 years now. And that's the only thing I get. I, I miss like coming here because I, I used to come here all the time. So let me ask you: You found a woman that'll put up with you? Is yes, I did actually. Uh, I did find <laughs> uh, a Swiss miss, I call, her. and um, and she's great. And I have I have a son named Finn. Nice. And uh, he lives there in Switzerland. That's why I live there because of him, for my son, and Beautiful. for my wife. Very nice. Well, yeah. any woman that'll put up with you, you know. I would say deserves some kind of an award. <laughs> it's not that bad. Well, you know, we love Tommy. I'm just, you know, I always He's work him over. My that's balls. how you know. That's how you know we love you over here is when we give you some crap. That's right. I call it, yeah, busting the ball. It's fun. And so tell me, you're going to be doing this week a charity gig for with the Hollywood Vampires. Right? Uh, we're doing Alice. Uh, Alice has this thing called the Christmas Pudding each year, and last year, believe it or not, flew out. From, and flew to the gig that day. Alice got COVID. The gig got oh. canceled. I flew all the way back to Switzerland. So finally, we're getting ready to do it again. And uh, it's for his uh, teen center. And uh, nice. it's, a, it's a really great cause. And a lot of other people will be there. I think Ori's playing right now, which I yeah. just found Ori out. Ori one of our dear, dear friends. And um, so, you know, I don't really know Alice, but I've been told by everybody what a great guy he is. He's a wonder, wonderful human being. Alice is like, Every day, he's like this. He's in a good mood every day. I've never seen him in a bad mood. It's like one of those things where he's just like the same every day. You have to send him over to my house. We no. put him in a bad mood. No, no dude, it's like every day. Even every show we do. Great show tonight. It could have been a train wreck. He'll be like, great show tonight. I'll be like, all right, great, boss. Just great to be anywhere, right? Yeah, no, it really These is. These days... That's right. the truth. You watch the news? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's tough out it's, there. It is it, tough it's out tough. There, it's right? tough out there right now, and that's why it's just like it would be really nice just for people to think of more of other people instead of themselves. You that's know what right. Because I mean? everyone's got it rough out there, man. You know. John Lennon had it right: peace, love, and music. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah Simplicity. Right. Yep. Hate to be naive, but no. uh, you know. It's, it's really cool to see you back out there doing it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, are you guys like in heavy uh, rehearsals? We uh, did, to... uh, Norm, we just finished the tour. We were out um, with Ace Freely. We did 27 shows in like 36 days or something like that. And it was the first time that a uh, national act and tour went without being COVID positive. We had a COVID compliance officer out there with us just this woman named Judy Wan, who was great. Just making sure everybody... Every day we got tested, we all stayed in this bubble, and uh, we pulled it off. And it was really cool because it proved to everyone that you could actually do it, and, and we did. Well, if everybody would cooperate, maybe then it would probably, uh, we could get somewhere. Because this stuff, and I don't want to be a doomsayer, but I mean, you know, if we don't get it under control, it's like a fire. If you let it keep simmering, uh, at some point, it's going to catch fire again. And wind's going to blow, and it's going to blow in a different direction, and, you know. And it I hurts just, us. It hurts all of us. It, it hurts it, it's like it, it's, Yeah, exactly. It hurts everyone, musicians, people in restaurants, you know what I mean? I was unemployed for two years, man. I mean, I was sitting in Switzerland, and I just was not happy you know i'm not gonna yeah. say yeah I was happy. it shouldn't be a political thing man you know? i mean we all need to band together yeah. before you know other right? bad stuff happens exactly right? it's really it easy be to simple. be nice and fucking yeah. just and be kind to each other exactly you know, that's so. not, yeah i'm not i'm not a preacher man but i'm just like dude just be cool that's it you know there's too many i don't want to curse and do that stuff because yeah. i can't help it sometimes yeah. but I don't want I've to never be... heard you say a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't know him anyway. But you let me play this little nice guitar. Well, over and here. I, of course, yeah. it's a black guitar. Just got a tune. <laughs> Ace Freely lick. Wait, Ace Freely. 
but... It would be like that, because Ace plays that out of tune like that. <laughs> uh, well, you didn't hear that in Norm's Dragon. No, right? dude, Ace is great. Eh? Like, hey, what are you this doing guy, over there, Tommy? <laughs> this guy can keep a gig better than anybody I know, and that's because you're easy to get along with. I mean, you know, some of these guys, you know, when you're stuck out on the road with somebody and they're a pain in the butt, you know, it gets old real quick. I, you know what I've learned? Uh, I've learned as you do this stuff, you have to just learn to let things go. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, you can't take things personally. If people write stuff about you online, I, you know what I mean? Everyone's a fucking critic. Everyone, hey, what did you say? I'm sorry. But excuse I, me. I, I'm, excuse my language. Personally, I, I don't give a shit. But I, I, don't, I excuse <laughs> me. But, you know, and it's just like, it's just, it's like, just, you, you just gotta let stuff go. And I find that, you know, like personality has a lot to do with it. Absolutely. You can't have an ego, man, because there's always somebody better than you out there. Remember that. Yeah, it's entertainment. If you put a smile on people's face and if they're laughing yeah. and, you know, enjoying the music and having a good time, yeah. then that's what's, what it's all about. Man. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I'm still glad you guys are still open. Absolutely. Which is, like, amazing. Well, we're blessed because we have people that love us that, you know, have been keeping us in business. Yeah. As tough as it's been, we've been one of the blessed ones. Yes. So, I'm thankful to all you guys and uh, thankful to have my friends that are able to get out and play again. And, you know, what a concept, you know. I'm, I'm thankful for you, man. I've gotten so many guitars from you. All my best guitars have come from here. I've saved, like, every time I would come off the road, I'd come in here and it would be more. Mark and Nick, Jordan, right? Is that yeah, true? I, yeah. And I'd be like, all right, guys, I saved up about $3,500 in my per diem. What can I get? And I'd be like, what, what do you guys got for $3,500? What can I get? And I'd always buy a guitar every time I'd come off the road. I would come in here with my per diem. Well, we appreciate it. And, yeah. uh, you know, we love having you. We love just having you in here, too, because, I mean, he's like one of the guys who he's a lot of fun to be around. And, um, you know, and again, you know a lot of people that I know. Alice is one I don't know, but but I, I've been told by so many people what a good person he well, is and all that. Well, you will meet him next year because we're going to be here next year. So right. I will make sure and that you come and I'll personally bring you into the dress room and be like, yo, boss, you need to know Norm. And right. I'll also be like... And who else is in the Vampires uh, these days? Well, Johnny Depp well the Vampires, yeah, Johnny right now, he's uh, he's like uh, filming some stuff right now. He's uh, And Joe, uh, he's getting ready to do, um, Joe Perry from Aerosmith, he's getting ready to do, I guess, the Aerosmith 50th uh, anniversary thing or whatever. Cool. Uh, you got Chris Wise, who plays bass, who's amazing. Glenn Sobel, who plays drums, and Alice Cooper is the drummer, and Buck... Uh, Johnson is the keyboard player who also plays in Aerosmith. So it's kind of a combination and of the And too. You uh, know. Ori was in the band with us for a while and now Nita Strauss has been in the band for since uh, the Motley Crue tour. And Ryan Roxy is the other guitar player and Alice Cooper and Chuck Gehrig's the bass player. And we just made a record. Nice. Uh, in uh, Nashville, Bob Ezrin. We just finished that. And these guys also do a thing a lot every every year uh, for Duesenberg. Yes, my buddy that's Nate. right. That's right. And he's a great guy. The Imperial Ball. They, right. And they give a lot of money to great charities, including the Midnight Mission, which yes. I'm grateful. Yep. And Nate is a great guy, and he makes some great guitars, and people love them. And uh, we get them from time to time in here, too. Yeah. And uh, so all I can say is, man, keep making music, and keep having a good time, and keep being safe out there, brother. Uh, thank you. And uh, I was giving him some old age advice before. You know what? I'm old, too, man. I got my glasses on because I, I was telling Norm, I was like, I had this thing taken off the side of my eye. So that's why I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> um, anyway, but uh, I just want to say, everyone, man, just much love and respect to everybody out there. And thank you for, you know, just being good people man and thank you norm anyway and well, thanks thank for having you, us doing this thing over here too again and uh well i hope we'll you guys see. raise a lot of money for great causes and uh you know hopefully i will be meeting alice out there play us out a little bit a little uh, oh, uh, you know. wait what was what, what, one of my favorite alice cooper songs we just did that uh rock and what you know but everyone was like Buddy, the great Tommy Hendrickson. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Right on. I man. love you, and it's I always good no, to I see love you. you know. more. I do. No, I love you more. Thanks, Tom. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Cheers. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. That was amazing. That was that was great. Cool. I'm not the best, but uh, you you do just what you need to do, and that's all anybody needs to do. I gotta play that. <laughs> <laughs>